back, James and Michael here. I hope y'all are doing well. Please forgive me for looking all ratchet and exhausted and tired. It is like 3 a.m. and I just spent the last six hours figuring out a problem that has been haunting me for like six months in logic. Maybe even a little longer than that. But basically, uh, this, uh, if you are experiencing the issue in logic, and this could be in any dog, but primarily I've noticed in the logic where you are recording and you're hearing it perfectly fine in your headphones because you've got low latency mode on and you're hearing your effects perfectly fine because you've also got software monitoring on. But when you play back, you hear it delayed and if you zoom in and you see the actual audio is keyword printed, offset from how you know you recorded it this is for you i was long story short was recording something uh yeah, pitching was good but i i knew i was seeing like no celine dion sandswith or anything like that but i knew for damn sure the rhythm was there every time i played it back it was offset and when i looked closer i saw it printed was offset logic was printing my recordings offset that was a problem and after reading about 20 articles I came across one tip that actually solved the issue and I never saw it coming. I never saw it there. That's what I'm gonna show you guys right now. Let's hop to Logic. Awesome, so here we are guys. We are now in the Logic project. Now, just because of the way that we have audio coming out of Logic and then into the screen recorder capturing the audio, uh, there's already gonna be latency in post, so I can't really do this test in real time, but I did record two examples of what I'm talking about here. Uh, this right here is the original problem. So if you look closely, uh, I was, you know, first and foremost, uh, prior to getting into production, I was very heavy in drumming and especially in drumline. So we set a lot of duts and syncopation. So we were all rhythmically in sync. And that's what I went ahead and recorded here for this demonstration. Now, I'm pretty damn confident that I said this in exact on tempo quarter notes. Yet, if you look here, it's recorded off the grid, off of the quarter notes. See that? It's just, it was chaos and it was making me rip my hair go out. I, for a second, thought I was just fucking stupid, to be honest. I thought I was just losing it, like something in my head was rewired. But it wasn't until I looked in here and I saw that they were actually being printed off the grid, off like kind of delayed, where I realized, okay, there's a problem here. So I spent about six hours trying to find what in the world the problem was here. Uh, I, you know, I recorded these with low latency mode on. I knew that wasn't the issue because when I was recording, I heard on the headphones perfectly fine and in time. Uh, software monitoring was on. Everything was great. It was the playback part that was messed up because they were being printed delayed. About six hours into it, you know, I came across this guy right here, Serge Meister, who left the great tip right here, remove plugins from the master bus. I looked over it. I did all this other crazy stuff, reinstalled the drivers from my uh, duet and all this crazy stuff. And it, 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 you know, nothing fixed it. But I followed this guy's, in, uh, this guy's instructions right here and I gave it a shot. And sure enough, lo and behold, lo and behold, uh, it actually works. So I'm gonna show you the before. You hear how the dots are coming after the downbeat of the quarter note? That was the problem, but when you're actually like singing a vocal or delivering some kind of verse or a rap or a line, it's just complete chaos and trash. I it, it it was horrible. I I can't tell you how much I hate. I cursed Logic out. <laughs> I got so mad at it, I was ready to throw my computer at the wall because this is something that has been haunting me for like a year, and it's come up in every project here and there. But like I said, I followed Serge Meister's advice. Uh, shout out to him, and I went to my master bus. So I had these three plugins here on the master bus, and all I did was I got rid of each and every one of them. And I don't know how, I don't know why I didn't design Logic, but what I noticed is that the audio that gets recorded takes place after the master bus in some way maybe. I don't know, all I know is that once I removed those and I re-recorded it, this is what I got. Much more on time, much more on the downbeat. It may not have been a quantized perfect performance, but you get the idea. If you look at it, they are far more on the downbeat and they are not delayed like these were right here. And it's not a big deal when you got these little syncopated downbeat dots, but when you're, like I said, when you were delivering an actual vocal or recording a guitar, you are going to find that you're gonna rip your hair out trying to figure this out if you don't already know, which you should now. Just in short, take your shit off the master bus. 
take it off that output track. Do not leave it on there. Uh, especially if you're in a vocal recording session or some kind of audio recording session, take it off. If you absolutely need it, save it as a channel strip setting, save it as a patch, take it off, record, do what you got to do, add it back on in a fast two clicks later, but take it off when you're recording. So that's the tip of the day. You know, that's, that's something that took me forever to learn that the second I, I learned it, I just had to share with you guys something that's haunted me for a very long time. All my fellow songwriters, artists, producers out there, if you use Logic or any kind of DAW, um, primarily Logic though, from what I've seen, and you're suffering from a delayed recording because you've got, uh, you know, some heavy intensive processing plugins, uh, go look to that bus track and make sure that you've taken everything off first before you start reinstalling drivers and all this stuff. I, I'll tell you, I almost ripped out Logic and reinstalled it, but thank God Surge Meister left that in there, and I'm just glad that, you know, got a few miles past it, and I saw it, and I did it. So hopefully this helps you guys out there too. Uh, but nonetheless, I hope you guys take care. Stay safe out there. I know these are some crazy times, and uh, you know, keep rocking and making some cool tunes. Until next time, peace, ladies and gentlemen.